everybody. It's Kim and I'm here for your body weight workout for today. Get ready for 30 minutes of great upper and lower body exercises that only require your body weight. Um, there is an option for some towel use, so if you want to quickly go grab that towel um, while we start the warm-ups, you can. You will also be able to do the movements with just your body weight, so don't worry about it if you don't have your towel. So before we get started with the actual workout, let's go ahead and do some warm-ups. So I want you to start with your arms pushing forward and pulling back. So we're starting our uh, supersets with our upper body. We're gonna do a full circuit of upper body movements, switching to our lower body and doing a full circuit there. We'll do both circuits three times through. That'll be your complete workout. All right, now I want you to pull those arms up overhead and then press them back behind you, making sure that you're making sh the chest big and wide. I'll give you the alternate look here. What I don't want to have happen is that you go here or here. We wanna pull back here. Make sure that that core is engaged, good. Go ahead and give me a few big arm circles. Try to loosen up those shoulders instead of them getting really tight and tense. So think big, mobile movements. Getting those shoulder blades moving around. Go ahead and switch direction. Shoulder blades moving around that rib cage. All right, chest stays up and open. Core is engaged, great job. We're gonna do some other shoulder mobility work. I want you to go ahead and get yourself up against a wall. If you're not close enough to the wall, you can use an imaginary wall. And imagine you are up against that wall and you're gonna move your arms up and down without letting those arms pull away. So I know some of you might have some mobility issues and the best you can do is here. Work within what you're capable of. Just try not to compensate and let the shoulders fall forward or extend through the back in order to get the hands back. You want to be neutral stance, long spine, moving those arms up and down. All right, switching up to that lower body. Let's go ahead and just do a few hinges. So profile look here. You're going to push that hip back and then stand up tall, making sure that you are not arching your back while you stand up. You wanna stop short of that with a nice controlled, tight anterior abdomen. So right here, excellent job. Let's go ahead and kick it back to some really long lunges. And I want you to get that back leg straight and kind of rotating slightly over getting that core activated and stretched out too. Very good. All right, let's switch it to a squat. We're gonna move laterally to open up the hips. Our lower body circuit today will include some movements that do open up the hip. So we wanna make sure that we're preparing those joints for that work that's coming later. Excellent job. All right, so let's start our upper body circuit. Round one. We have 10 to 15 reps. You get to choose what's right for you of a body weight exercise that's a little bit easier. Then we're gonna do a little tougher exercise. Our second exercise is a push-up, so we're gonna scale back the reps on that tougher exercise. Eight to 12 reps on the hard exercises, 10 to 15 reps on the easy exercises, all right? So count your reps, go your pace, do the reps that work for you, that you're keeping in good technical form and following along with the workout. So to start, let's get on the floor right here. This is kind of a favorite movement for me. We are going to pull back. My toes are grounded into the floor. My belly button's pulled up to the spine. My hands are to the outside of the head and I'm squeezing those shoulders right here. 
Let's keep it going. I'm on three. Follow with me. Four. Notice how I'm not kicking my head back and then keeping it long and neutral. I don't want all that tension getting up into that neck. Squeeze those shoulders back, feeling those shoulder blades move towards the spine. Excellent job. Don't forget to breathe and keep that tummy nice and tight so you're not just arching and extending only through the back. Good, I'm gonna do about three more. And last one. Fantastic, go ahead and take a little time to stretch out that back. All right, we've got push-ups next. So let's talk about hand position and the use of your back when you're doing your push-ups. You want your hands to be, I always say, take those thumbs, kind of put them at your armpits and get big here. Push your hands directly out. That's about where your hand position is going to be in your push-up. Here to here, all right? I don't want here. And elbow position is important too. When we pull those hands back, look at how my elbow is dropped approximately 45 degrees from the shoulder, all right? So pulling way up here gets that shoulder out of alignment and creates impingement and deactivates the chest actually. So you want to have those elbows drop down. So we've got eight to 12 reps of push-ups. Let's go ahead and get ready. You could modify to your knees if you need to. Elevate yourself on either a bench or a couch or a countertop and Eight to 12 reps, you count your reps, you do what you can. Here we go. One, two, three. Core is tight. Foot stance is a, lot of, a little bit wider so that I can get my hips involved. I think I'm at seven, eight, nine. Come on, two, three more with me if you can. Two more, one more. Excellent job. All right, back down on the floor. We are doing that similar movement to the first one that we started with. But instead of pulling the hands back here, we are going to pull the shoulders and elbows down and back. Think of a lat pull down that you would do in a cable machine, right? You would kind of extend a little bit pull that bar down to the middle of the chest. This is where that towel option helps give you that visual. If I were pulling that bar to my chest, I'm gonna keep going, I got three in. Join me, count your reps. We're doing 10 to 15. Make sure those shoulders stay down away from your ears. Awesome job, I'm gonna do about five more. Come on, keep that belly button tight. I got two more. Head in line with your spine, last one. Fantastic. Not only would you feel that in your core, you'd feel that in your shoulders, as well as the middle of your back. All right, next, we have tricep push-ups. Again, going down to a little bit of shorter rep, eight to 12, because it is, it is a more intense um, exercise. Modify as you need to, count your reps, do what you can. So, different than that wider hand stance, we still have the hands at the same level, but we're going to keep the elbows tight and hands a little bit more narrow, all right? so. We're pulling the elbows right next to the body. Not here. This would be your standard, standard push-up, right? You're right here. All right, here we go. Eight to 12, you count your reps. Do what you can. Shoulders down and back, good plank. My hands or my feet are a little bit wider than my hip width so that I get good glute activation. So let's my core help hold my body 
so that I can isolate the chest and the triceps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, can you do four more? Here we go. Four, three, getting harder. Two, modifying for the last one. Excellent job. Go ahead and stretch out. Open up. Fantastic. We have one more exercise in our upper body sequence. We're back on that stomach. I call these super angels. So it's like a Superman, right? Except for what we're going to do is we're going to move those arms like if you were doing a snow angel on your back. So it looks like this right here. Here we go. Join me. What's your core doing? Is your head staying in line with your spine? We're doing 10 to 15 reps. You're counting your own. Excellent. Take a break if you have to, but I want you to stay with me if you can. Keep those shoulders down and back. I think I got about three more. Three, two, belly tight, one, excellent. All right, go ahead and stretch out a little bit. Some dynamic stretches in between sets and reps is a good idea. You don't want those muscles getting too tight. I'm gonna open up that chest. I'm gonna bring those arms up and over. Give myself a little tricep stretch. All right, go ahead and grab a drink if you need to. This would be a good time. We are switching to that lower body uh, circuit now. If you have weights at home and if you feel like you want that intensity of in resistance, by all means, go ahead and grab a set of weights. You can choose one weight in a goblet hole, or you could do a weight in each hand or a suitcase hole. That is totally up to you. All right, we're gonna kind of move through these lower body exercises. It's gonna give us that little extra heart rate boost that we want to make this not just a body weight strength workout, but also a cardio workout. So we have 10 squats. I'm gonna get into that imaginary goblet position so that I am sure that my upper body is engaged, my core is engaged, and that supports my hips to do good movement and good technique. Here we go, 10 squats. One, let's pull those hips down. Think of creasing and activating the abdomen right here. Excellent job. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. Excellent job. We've got forward lunges next. I'm gonna choose an arm out position here so I can get a little bit more shoulder work in my movement. It also helps me set my core. If my hands start flailing around like this, I'm going to really feel it and know, oh, I need to tighten up. So get that cord tight, spine long and strong, forward lunges, 10 for each leg. Here we go. There's one, two, how's that heart rate? Starting to go up. Here's four. Five, we're halfway. Come on, keep those arms up. Just four more. Watch those knees. Make sure they don't wiggle side to side. Oh, I dropped my arms. One more each way. Last one. Excellent job. All right. Remember how I told you we're going to do some hip opening movements? Well, we open the hip forward back right? We had those hips isometrically open in the squats. Now let's go ahead and do some transverse squats. Let me show you first. So 
So I'm alternating. Notice that the foot that stays in place stays tracking to the front of the room, right? I don't want you to turn the foot and pivot with your squat, okay? I want you to make that adductor open up, okay? Getting into a nice wide, wide hip stance, pulling and creasing right through the front of the hip. All right, we have 10 alternating. Shoulders down and back. I'm gonna put my hands right on my hips here to keep myself in alignment and to feel that activation through the front of the hip. Here we go. Now, for some of you, you're not gonna step very big. So this is a nice, easy, small transverse squat. Notice how my head is staying in line with my spine, right? My shoulders are down and back, and my chest is open. There's five, we have only five more. I'm gonna open up a little bit bigger. Oop, I almost lost my balance on that one. I caught it. Awesome job. We are almost there, one more each way. Excellent, all right. We have some lateral lunges next. We've got two more exercises, guys, to get through this lower body circuit. So, a lateral lunge keeps one leg straight and pulls into the other hip, okay? I want you to think that that hip not only comes down, but it pushes back to the diagonal a little bit. That's what helps us get that abductor involved in the movement, right? This abductor stretches out and all the work, the magic is happening in this hip right here, okay? So, we are gonna alternate just like we did the other ones. We've got 10 total for each leg. Let's go. There's one. So I like to place my hands just here to remind me of that activation. If I don't feel my hip kind of pinching on my fingertips, I know I'm getting lazy and I'm just kind of doing a half hinge, okay? But when I'm really pulling my hip down and driving it down and back, it pinches my fingertips. What I'm not doing is taking a load of my upper body and pushing up, right? All right, I think we got about two more. Sometimes I talk and I don't keep track of numbers. Excellent job. So next, we have a crossover lunge, right? So we are crossing over the midline of the body. Now, your crossover is going to look different depending on the type of mobility and stability you have in your ankles, your knees, and your hips, okay? So, if you look a little bit more like you're just barely crossing over and you're right here, that's okay. Work within what works for your body. If you have really great mobility in those ankles and knees and hips, you might be able to get really far back. All right, this is what I don't wanna see. I don't wanna see you curving to the side of the foot, see, or rolling, I should say. See how I'm rolling? I'm gonna firmly plant that foot on the floor. See how that helps my knee keep tracking with my toes? And then from there, that's where I'm gonna get that isolation in the glute, all right? From forcing the arch of my foot to stay in contact with the floor. Come on and join me. Let's start right here. One, two, three. You got it, good job. Long and tall through the spine and nice and strong. We're halfway, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one more.
for each way. Excellent job. Did you feel it? You should have. All right, this is a good time for you to take a drink. We have finished the circuit one time. I know you're thinking, oh man, how are we gonna get through? We're gonna do it. Because no instruction this time, just cueing while we're doing, and we're gonna fly through this circuit. If we get it in, in a decent amount of time, we're gonna do a third one. We'll see what time allows. All right, so we're starting on the ground. We have our high pull right here. 10 to 15 reps. Are you ready? Let's get this done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how my hands are staying in a decent position. I'm not dropping them and pulling them back. I'm gonna do four more. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Quick switch. Let's remember those rules of engagement for our push-ups. Eight to 12 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use that core. Head in line with your spine. Don't look at your belly button. One more for good measure because I stopped counting. Ah, excellent job. We're right back down on that belly. Take your time with this. Shorten your sets if you're having a hard time keeping up or you need to take a breath, all right? That's why we have sets of 10 to 15 or eight to 12. You make this your workout. Here we go. We've got that left hold down right here. Head in line with your spine. Press those hands up overhead and pull down. Nice job. I'm gonna do five more. Five, four, three. Squeeze those lats. One more. Excellent job. All right, tricep push-ups are next. Are you ready? Again, rules of engagement. Here to here. I've got my hands where I need them. I'm gonna get ready with a nice wide foot stance. I'm gonna see if I can get 12. What do you think you're gonna do? Come on. I got four in, four at a time. Ugh. I'm doing four more, come on. Four, three, two, belly button tight. One, sit back, quick stretch. All right, we've got our super angels. Let's do it. Toes anchored into that floor. Create that tension in the hips. See that tension there? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got it. Don't flick the head. Five more. Five, four, if you need to drag your arms a little, two more, you can. Excellent. Fantastic job. All right, grab your drink. Let's do lower body. Good news. This is your last circuit for today. Are we ready? We are doing. 10 squats, goblet hold, tension. Here we go. One, two, three, don't arch your back. This is not a good way to end a squat. This is a good way to end a squat. I'm doing three more, three, two, one. Excellent, excellent. All right, you've got your forward lunges. I'm putting my shoulders down and back and then just giving myself a nice symmetric lateral raise. Here we go. 
There's one. There's two. You got it. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Keep that spine long. Think of space between your vertebrae. Halfway. Come on, you can do it. Pull yourself down. Press yourself back. Fantastic. Two more each way. Come on, come on. One more each way. Arms out. Excellent job. All right, we've got our transverse squats. Remember, opening and closing. Shoulders down and back. I'm putting my fingers here. Remind myself of how I need to crease that hip. Here we go. You open as far as what your hip allows you to. It allows you to maintain that forward foot tracking to the front of the room. Fantastic job. Head in line with the spine. Right? We can hinge from the hip to lean forward, but we can't fall forward from here, right? We got to stay tall. Oop. Let my hip close. Come on, two more each way. You got it. Last one. Fantastic job. Lateral lunges are next. We're getting right to it. Here we go. Gotta cut it. That was four. Four sets there. We are halfway. Come on. We only have one more exercise after this. Two more each way. One more each way. Fantastic. Shake it off. Crossovers are next. Are you ready? Shoulders down and back. Here we go. Push that arch into the floor. We are going to build off a lot of these movements. You will notice that I will add on to a lot of the things over the next week. But a lot of the basics will stay the same. You feeling the heat? You feeling the heat? What is your core doing? Come on. You got it. You got it. Three more. Two more. Keep that arch on the floor. Last set. Fantastic. It is time to stretch. I'm going to give you a profile look here. So I'm going to reach and stand and pull those shoulders back. Reach, pull those shoulders back. Well done. I'm going to step back, reach over. Other way. Reach over. One more. Let's open up that chest. Shoulders down and back. Thumbs to the back of the room. Just like that. Go ahead and just move that neck about slightly. Not too much. I don't want you to pinch anything. Grab those hands, push them forward. Press out. Lift up. Line everything from head to toe. Deep breath in. And just let those arms fall down to a natural position. That's it. That's your body, work, body weight workout for today. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you leave any comments down below, any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Next time, we'll get that third round in. Have a great one, you guys.